Hi guys, okay, continuing with the beer budget camper series, now let's talk about this. This is the cot that I use in my set. Now this is a standard Walmart type folding cot. It's got the solid frame to it. And it does limit the height in here. Now this is about the smallest pickup you're going to do this with anyway. This is a very small pickup. So having this very limited roof capacity, some people are going to be turned off on it. But if you've got one of the ones that's got the higher back on it, this would be no problem. I like this, and they do make a lower hammock, a, a lower cot. But this one is will fit perfectly in this bed. So it'll seal up like that. I like it because of this storage space under here. I use the plastic tubs and those tubs will be indexed so here's all my fire starting gear, here's all my cooking supplies, here's all my whatever. On this side, because the cot can't go any further this way because it's up against the side rail and it can't go forward and back. So this is going to become in effect solid okay, with the tailgates up. Underneath here, between these two, I will run like a piece of paracord or something uh, across the middle one. So stuff can't shift forward or back as I'm applying brakes driving down the road. And up against here, I've got this big table, which you will see in the next video, which slides in right there. And then on the back side of it is where I stack additional gear. I can slide all of that out slide out the table set up to have the rest of my outside camp and then have this available. Right here is where my stove and my power unit and things like that are going to go. When the tailgate's down I have access to those. That's easy in and out. In this cubby hole right here I have a folding chair and a folding stool right there which is anchored so I've got a place to sit and etc handy and available. Now getting in and out. I go ahead and close the tailgate. Just like this. Now I've got plenty of room in here to sleep. Full size. This is a thermorest pad to go over the bed. And this is the actual blanket I'd be using today. My covers would be pre-set up on top of here so my bed is ready to go. Right here in this hole behind the chair, I would put medicines, things like that. And this hole up here is the things that I would have like what I call my bookshelf. It's quick, easy, small stuff that I want to look at at night when I lay here in bed reading or something like that. Now, I can sit up. Yes, it's cramped, but I can sit up if I needed to. This is how I'd pull the door down, right there. But I got more than enough room to lay in here. This is a sleeping hut. This is not a big RV for me to get around. This is on a bear budget. I need it small and tight so everything is where it needs to be. All my additional gear that I may have down here, I've got plenty of room for. And should it go to raining or something like that, I can put gear in here and get in here on top of my bed and close the door and still be dry without any problems. Now to get out, no problem. And if I can do that when I'm, got my hat. Woo. One thing I don't like is I got this heavily ribbed bed liner, which is great for sliding things in and out. But man, it's rough on the knees. So, could you make this lower? Yes. I have seen guys come in here and just like cut like a two or three inch section out of all the legs, put a heavy wooden dowel in there, slide them back together, and then pin it, and just shorten this down to a really short cot. You could do that. Walmart has a very low cot. However, it's too long for this truck. 
I cannot close the tailgate with it. Sorry for the wind. I cannot close the tailgate with it inside, and I want to completely enclose when I'm in here. Now, when I'm in here, in the winter, somewhere like right here is where I'm going to put my heating idea. Now, what I use, I already have a uh, brass lantern that is an old ship's lantern. Inside of that, I put one of them big votive candles, and I'll show you this in a close-up here in a minute. I put that right there and completely sealed up in here. It's not so much as a heater as it is to keep condensation to a minimum. I've got plenty of air access around the side, so I'm not going to smother in here. But what I do need is to keep my breath from not condensing on all this metal and raining back down on me all night like it would do in a tent. By putting that open flame inside of that protected environment, it is a warming it just a skosh and keeping us ab above 32 but it also keeps condensation to a minimum in here by that radiant heat it does help now i should be if i'm camping in the winter with that pad on here and a proper sleeping bag i should be able to go down into the teens pretty easy since i'm not touching exposed metal and i'm not like you guys up north where if you touch it you could get stuck to it I don't have to worry about that down here in the south you guys in the far north you know what you got to do you may have to insulate this top or insulate the sides to try to hold that heat better in your extreme cold I don't have that here heat is a bigger factor for me so this in the summertime I will have a battery powered fan in here and then over this and I'll show this in an upcoming video I'll have a mosquito net that fits over this. It's a modified U.S. Army cot uh, mosquito net that goes over this and drops down and seals up around the tailgate. So I can have a way in and out and keep the mosquitoes and stuff out and have a fan here for air circulation. Now, one thing I have not touched on. You go ahead and you set your bed up like this and you've got your gear to pull out. And you run down a dirt road and a lot of dust and back here everything gets covered in dust one of the major reasons for that is right here at the tailgate the tailgate when it closes does not have a good seal in fact it has a gap between the bottom of the tailgate and the body of the bed they make it this way intentionally so that whenever you have no camper shell on it you're in that super hard rain and the back of the pickup truck if it's tilted forward notice it'll hold water if it's sitting flat water will run out that way the bed doesn't fill full of water it's got a place for water to pour out to avoid getting all that dust in here what I like to do is take an old towel something that don't matter roll it up and along this seam right here just like you'd stop a uh, uh, cold draft coming under a door I'll close up the tailgate and I will put that um, towel along that whole edge to block dust and stuff blowing in here. You want the edge of your camper top to seal up close enough to keep that to a minimum so the dust doesn't get in here because what happens is running down the dirt roads and things getting to your site, that fine dust that's being kicked up invariably comes in here and you get in here and you do like that and it's a cloud of dust. So you want to try to avoid that. Okay. Now we've got the basic idea of, of my setup. We're going to have the bed in here. We're going to have our storage underneath that I can pull out of. And that front cubby hole up there is going to be my bookshelf. That's going to be where I'm stuffing my reading bed, whatever. It's going to be there. And that front left corner up there is going to be anything that I may need, but I don't really need that often. Like my spare tire, my jack, my etc my self recovery tools are going to be in that front left corner. The top up here, I've got a gap where I can hang uh, bungee cords from and be able to hang like fishing rods and things on that side, poles, whatever internally. My rack on the top allows me to put bigger poles and stuff, a canoe, a kayak or whatever on top. All of these need to work together. So that when I get to the campsite, I, and here's an important point I want to bring up to you, always make sure your head is either level or slightly elevated. 
do not park with the, your head, the front of the truck, downhill because you're going to be laying with your head downhill. You get a headache that way. Your blood runs to your head and it can't, your body's got to fight to push it back to the feet. You want to be level. So always make sure that the truck is relatively level whenever you park. Or at least, if it can't be level, have your head uphill. Okay? Now that's the basic idea, guys. It's the basic setup, and now we're going to go to the actual full setup where you'll see me pulling all the stuff out, and we'll set up my whole camp. And that's on the next video. Thank you for all the support for this series, guys, and I greatly appreciate it. If you've got any questions or comments, please include them down below. And until next time, guys, I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.